We just got done talking about the concept of type coercion and also type conversion with strings and numbers. But what happens when we work with Booleans? Well, in order to think about this, we first need to understand the concept of truthy values and falsy values in JavaScript. So I'm gonna head over to MDN and I'm gonna start out on a page called Truthy and I'm gonna link this in the description for you. So basically, when we think about a truthy value, in JavaScript, a truthy value is a value that is considered true when encountered in a Boolean context, okay? So when JavaScript expects a Boolean. So all values are truthy unless they are defined as falsy, okay? So this makes it really easy to think about truthy values because if it's not falsy and there's only a set number or a limited number of those, well, then it's going to be truthy. You can see here where it says that JavaScript uses the type coercion in Boolean context. So examples of truthy values in JavaScript, which will be coerced, okay, to true in Boolean context and thus execute the if block. So we've talked about conditional statements. We've talked about the if statement. So we know that if we put something in here that evaluates to true, it's going to run, okay? And there's some examples here. Let's go to the falsy page, okay? So here we see that a falsy value is a value that is considered false when encountered in a Boolean context. So again, JavaScript is going to use the type conversion to coerce any value to a Boolean in context that requires. So such as conditionals. So again, the if else statements and then loops, which we haven't talked about yet. So here they list eight falsy values. We're going to write down and work with five. Okay. So we have the keyword false and then we have the number zero. So we're going to focus on that. Negative zero and zero n, we really don't need to worry about that. Negative zero is just zero, okay? And then zero n deals with this big int, which we haven't really talked about yet. We have the empty string, null, undefined, and not enough. If I come back to my code editor, I'm just gonna make some comments here, and I'm gonna go the falsy values, and then let's just list them. So zero, the empty string. So it can't be a string with a space, and I'll show that to you. It has to be an empty string, okay? You have undefined, and then you have null, okay? And then you have not a number, okay? So what I wanna do really quickly is just look at some examples that we already know about. So let's say we started with const and we have something like num1, okay? And let's set this equal to, I'm going to do the string 185. So we just saw that we could convert this string into a number by using this number function, right? So a capital N, and you're just gonna type the word number, and I'm going to wrap this string inside of parentheses. And JavaScript is going to convert this 185 as a string to the number 185. So if we console.log this num1 variable, okay, and we console.log and we look at the type of the value that's held there. So the value in this case is going to be the number 185. So this guy's going to return number. Okay, so if we go ahead and think about this, this is going to be 185. And this is going to be number, okay, number. So let's go ahead and pop open the terminal and we get 185 and number as expected, okay? So if we come back up here, we also learned that we could change a number to a string by just writing string, okay, with a capital S, okay? So this is the string function. And now I'm gonna reverse this. Instead of a string, I'm gonna start with a number. And so this is going to change this into the string 185. And so this guy is going to tell me that I have a string, okay? So if we pop this open, and we run this, we get 185 in string. Okay, so what would happen if I wanted to change this into a Boolean? Well, you saw that we just wrote number to change to a number and string to change to a string. So for a Boolean, we're just going to type Boolean, okay, with a capital B. So it's really easy to remember. So in this case, because 185 is a truthy value, this guy right here, when I console.log this num1 variable, I'm going to get true. Okay. Again, this is truthy because it's not falsy. If you look at the falsy values, it's zero, the empty string, undefined, null, and not a number. If it's not in that category, okay, or one of those guys, it's going to be truthy. So this guy is going to be converted into true. And then this guy right here would tell me that I have a Boolean. Okay. So let's pop this open and let's go ahead and run this and we get true and then Boolean. Now, what I'm going to do is just erase this, and we're going to go through some examples really quickly. I'm going to show you some things that you need to watch out for. So let's do console.log, and I'm just going to do a bunch of these. So let me just copy this, and I'll just do three at a time. So let's start with something like, and let me use the multi-cursor. So I'm going to go Boolean, and then some parentheses here, and I'm going to start with the empty string. 
Okay, so the empty string, we know this should end up giving me a false, okay? And then this one, I'm going to do an empty string here, but then I'm going to put a space in it, okay? So this guy, a lot of people think this is going to be false. This is actually true. So you need to really understand that this is not an empty string. It is a string that contains a space, okay? And then for the last one here, let's just do a string. So something like, hi, I am a string, something simple. So if we pop open the terminal and we clear this, and let me put what this should be. This should be true, right? Because it's a non-empty string. So let's go ahead and run this. So we get false, true, and true. Again, the one you really need to pay attention to is this one right here. This has a space in it. So it's very important you understand that that is going to be true, okay? So let's think about undefined and null. And what I'm gonna do here for undefined, I'm gonna go let, and I'm just gonna do my var, and I'm not gonna give it a value. Remember, you can't use const with this because if you declare a variable using const, you have to give it a value right then and there, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna give you an error and the program's not gonna run. But I can do this with let. I can declare a variable and not give it a value. So JavaScript behind the scenes gives it a value of undefined. So if I put Boolean in my var here, because this is undefined, undefined, I'm going to get a value of false, okay? And let me get rid of these for right now, okay? And let's go ahead and pop this open. And we're going to clear this and run this and we get false, right? Because again, the value there, if I console.log, just the my var variable, okay, pop this open, clear this and run this, I get undefined. Also, if I set this equal to null, okay, remember this is an assignment value. So if I clear this and run this, I get the same thing, right? The value has changed to null, but it's still going to be coerced into false because null is falsy. Now, if I set this as something else, let's say I set this to, let's say the number seven. Well, now this guy is not undefined and it's not null. It's just the number seven. Seven is going to be coerced. And I'm going to change this. I'm just going to say it's seven and it's going to be coerced into true. Okay. So let's pop this open, clear this and run this. And we get seven and true. Okay. So the last one I want to look at would be, let's do zero and I'm going to get rid of this real quick. So let's say we do console.log. And I'm going to do my Boolean again. Inside of here, I'm going to do zero. And then I'm going to also, let's just for reference sake, do one that's going to be true. So let's do something like 59. doesn't matter what you pick. And then let's do something that's going to convert to not a number. So let's do the string four and let's do minus five. Okay. So this right here, when JavaScript encounters a math operation like the minus, okay. And it says, okay, I'm trying to convert this to a number and I can't. So this guy ends up being not a number and not a number minus five, okay, will end up being not a number. So if we go ahead and pop this open, this is going to be false, right? And this is going to be false. Actually, this is going to be true, sorry. And this is going to be false. Okay, so we get zero converts to false, 59, the number converts to true. And this guy, because the result is going to be not a number, is false. So let's go ahead and pop this open, clear this and run this and you get false, true, false. Again, if you take this Boolean out of the way, if you're a little confused by this, what happens is if you just run this as it is, you're going to get not a number. So you get false, true, and then not a number, which is the result of doing this operation. Okay, so let's work with this in the context of the if statements and the else statements, just to get a little practice. So we've already seen with the if else statements, we would type something like if, and we would put a condition in here that we want to end up being true or false. If I just type in true, it's always going to run. So if I do something like if true, I'll put console.log and I'll say the condition is true, okay? And then if it's false, the else would kick off. So I'll go console.log and I'll say the condition is false. Now this guy is highlighting this way because I've typed true in here, okay? So the code editor automatically knows if you go through there and click this, it'll show you that this guy is never gonna run because this is true, right? So it's always gonna be true. So this is always gonna run. This is always gonna get skipped. If you pop open the terminal and we run this, we get the condition is true, okay? If you were to type false in here, it would never run. So now you see this is highlighting because this is false. This is always gonna be skipped and this is always gonna run. Okay, so we pop this open and we clear this and run this, we get the condition is false. Now we've seen how we can put things in here that evaluate to true or false using the comparison operator. So if I did something like five is greater than three, well, this is going to be true. So the condition is true, right? So that runs. So the condition is true. Then if I flip this, 
Well, now the condition is false. So if I clear this and run this, the condition is false. Okay. But what about, again, if you just type something in here like I, comma, I am a string, and that's it. Well, now JavaScript has to use these rules, again, about truthy and falsy values. So this is a non-empty string. So JavaScript considers this to be a truthy value. So this guy is just like if I typed true in here. So this is going to run and this is going to get skipped. Okay, so if I pop this open and we run this, we get the condition is true. If you come back up here, again, if you make this into an empty string, not a string with a space, but an empty string, this is now going to be false. Okay, so the condition is false.